नमस्ते यूट्यूब वेलकम टू कैफे इनो मैन वेलकम टू आर टू सॉन्ग रिएक्शन टू जॉन क्राइम दे आर रिक्वेस्टेड बाई आर पेट्रन क्रिस्टन इट इज अ ट्रिब्यूट रिएक्शन to these two songs john prine as we all already know passed away recently and um, uh, we are reacting to these two songs passed away last month yeah, yeah. and uh, these are requested by patron christian this month as a tribute to john prine we haven't heard these songs ever before in our lives no. at least not that i can remember no. so it's going to be a first time single take honest Pure, raw, unscripted, impromptu, and spontaneous reaction by Kirti and me. Let's get started. If you like to learn more about us, Patreon page is where you can find out a bit more about us, our profile as well as how we take up requests, etc. The link in the description box of this video. Let's get started. John Prine, please don't bury me. Yeah. The title says time. a lot. I'm eager to listen to what it's all about. Woke up this morning. Put on my slippers, walked in the kitchen and died. And oh, what a feeling when my soul went through the ceiling and on up into heaven I did ride. When I got there, they did say, John, it happened this way. You slipped upon the floor and hit your head. And all the angels say. Just before you passed away, these were the very last words that you said. Please don't bury me down in the cold, cold ground. No, I'm gonna have 'em cut me up and pass me all around. Throw my brain in a hurricane and the blinds can have my eyes and the death can take both of my ears if they don't mind the sound. Socks in a cedar box, just gone out of here. Venus to Milo can have arms. Look out, I've got your nose. Sell my heart to the junk man and give my love to Rose. But please don't bury me down in that cold, cold ground. No, I'm gonna have 'em cut me up and pass me all around. For my brain in a hurricane and the blinds can have my eyes. Death can take both of my ears if they don't mind the sound. Give my feet to the footloose, careless, fancy free. Get my knees to the needy, don't pull that stuff on me. Hand me down my walking cane, it's a sin to tell a lie. Send my mouth way down south and kiss my ass goodbye. But please don't bury me down in that cold, cold ground. No, I don't wanna have 'em cut me up and pass me all around. Oh, my brain in a hurricane. किचन जस्ट वो कप एंड पास and uh, while his uh, you know we call it atma but in english it's called soul right when the soul leaves the body and watching over himself and the angels are telling him you know what was the last word that you said don't bury me uh, please don't bury me in the cold and dark grave that's right uh, he wanted to lend his body parts or you know donate his body parts to all the areas that he spoke about the brain to the hurricane eyes to the blind 
if they can live with his kind of sight uh, I, i'm looking at perception the kind of opinion and perception he had in his life and um, years to the death and things like that um i i like that i like that message uh, more people should encourage people to donate their organs uh, when they pass away it it doesn't take anything from you right because you already did but it can give a word to someone else um we uh, we have um, uh, lost some very uh, eminent and very respectful um stars uh, we can call or personalities uh, of bollywood in the last couple of days two days were horrific because one after the other two big uh, personalities died in india and people were shocked because there was no news of them being hospitalized for a while they just passed away it was sudden shock to the country uh, yeah but life goes on definitely does it is uh, it's uh, we definitely have memories uh we are for loved ones and people uh, musicians and actors and sportsmen and um you know many 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 people obviously everyone dies at some time or the other and um people will remember you a lot if uh, you have impacted their life whether positively or negatively so here we have a person who we don't know much i don't know much about john prime to be honest music as a musician or as a human being uh, his personality what how he lived his life or any i don't know anything much about him uh, but here we have a nice song and in the moment it's so enjoyable to listen to it's fun it's light it's breezy it's entertaining and it's uh, giving a wonderful message that they, i don't want to be you know buried the usual way yeah. the usual way people are buried i don't want to be buried that way i would rather you know my stomach going to milwaukee so that they can never run out of beer i would rather have my brain going to the hurricane but rather have different things happening yeah. to my body and uh, them going all over the place uh, because uh, i don't really want to be you know just um thrown in the thrown yeah, in the grave thrown in the grave and covered and forgotten basically you know i mean you're just laying there with worms kind of eating you so it's it's that's a harsh reality of things so uh, um for everyone for everyone who's buried in a uh, underground 6 feet under as i say um yeah this is a beautiful song beautiful song yeah this movie of will smith he, ever since i've watched it i kind of relate to it whenever we talk about organs and that and uh, living on and on becoming immortal through the donations that you make in physical form even after your death and that's a great example it's a great movie the way it is made as well 7 pounds 7 pounds is a very good so concept it's yeah. a beautiful movie for this song yeah uh, you know he makes the most of uh, the time he has yeah. just before he is uh, you know but uh, in the movie the only sad part is that he takes his own life yeah but in, in order in, to provide in, these people in taking away his own life he gives a lot of other people uh, you know a second life so to speak literally one person gets his heart and other his eyes uh, he has someone with kidney liver uh, along the way and also money he helps yeah. lot of people with house money and money we all we needed to even gives his house away to someone a person who badly needed it uh, who has kids a mother and who was physically abused uh, and tormented by her current boyfriend or partner wonderful movie and definitely it comes to mind that's a great example that kirti has shared beautiful movie for anyone who wants to uh who can relate to this song will definitely appreciate the movie and especially if you like will smith and his acting okay uh, basically he wanted to send his mouth way down south maybe he wanted some singers to have the similar kind of uh, uh, way of doing things that is nice i like his wishes at the end and it's about making maximum of your own death it's about taking complete advantage of your death when you have wishes like that yeah the only sad part is of course 
uh, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. Um, so it's all fun and entertaining to listen yeah, to. Yeah. Uh, that's why a will is so important. A it will, is. A will, having an actual will, a physical will of a legal one, a legal one made by a reliable lawyer. Uh, it's important because you want the things that you have to go to the right people. You know, so well, uh, yeah, this is like a will office, a fun, entertaining way of putting it, but message is loud and clear. We are going to listen to another song of John Prynas called When I Get to Heaven. Seems to be maybe from the same album by the sounds of it. Yeah. And it probably is. It should um, be a continuation. Maybe a continuation of this song, who knows. I but either way, I'm excited to listen to this one, especially yeah. after listening to the last one. Yeah. Let's go, uh, I mean, the one that we just heard. John Prime when I get to heaven up next. After this, yeah. Thank you for watching. Namaste YouTube, welcome to Cafe Inoma and welcome to our tribute reaction to John Prime. We are going to react to the song When I Get to Heaven. This is our first time listening to this song, never heard this before. It will be an honest single take reaction. Like the last one. Yeah. Let's get started. When I get to heaven, I'm going to shake God's hand. Thank him for more blessings than one man can stand. Then I'm going to get a guitar and start a rock and roll band. Check into a swell hotel. Ain't the afterlife grand? And then I'm going to get a cocktail, vodka, and ginger ale. Yeah, I'm going to smoke a cigarette that's nine miles long. I'm going to kiss that pretty girl on the tilt of the world. Cause this old man is going to town <laughs> Then as God is my witness I'm getting back into show business <laughs> I'm gonna open up a nightclub called the Tree of Forgiveness And forgive everybody ever done me any harm Why well, I might even invite a few choice critics those syphilitic parasitics. <laughs> Buy them a pint of Smithics and smother them with my charm. Cause then I'm going to get a cocktail, vodka and ginger ale. Yeah, I'm going to smoke a cigarette that's nine miles long. I'm going to kiss that pretty girl on the tilt of world. Yeah, this old man is going to town. get to heaven, I'm going to take that wristwatch off my arm. What are you going to do with time after you bought the farm? And then I'm going to go find my mom and dad. And good old brother Doug, well I bet him and cousin Jackie are still cutting up a rug. I want to see all my mama's sisters, because that's where all the love starts. I miss them all like crazy. Bless her little hearts. And I always will remember these words my daddy said. He said, Buddy, when you're dead, you're a dead peckerhead. <laughs> I hope to prove him wrong. That is, when I get to heaven. Cause I'm going to have a cocktail, vodka and ginger ale. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke a cigarette that's nine miles long. I'm gonna kiss that pretty girl on the tilt of work. Yeah, this old man is going to town. Yeah, this old man is going to town. Oh. 
There you go, saying goodbye to the old yodeling style. Beautiful voice. Yeah. There's a wonderful clarity in his voice that's uh, remarkably, remarkably fun to listen to. Remarkably fun to listen to. Yeah, this definitely gets you a bit emotional. Like I mentioned in the last song, I have no clue about the life of John Prine. Yeah. Or I haven't heard much of his music. In fact, any of his music before we got a request or two along the way. So, yeah, I have very little knowledge of this musician, but uh, he certainly knows how to entertain. Certainly knows how to entertain. Even babies. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's given a wonderful insight into what he plans to do when he gets to heaven. And, uh, yeah, all the things that he wants to do. And he wants to meet a lot of people, uh, his aunts, his mom, dad, brother yes. Doug, the cousins, uh, a lot of lot of people. As well as he wants to open a bar of forgiveness or a tree of forgiveness, what's that? Something or a pub like. of forgiveness. <laughs> One of those things he wants to open and uh, yeah, he obviously wants to have fun also. A lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, uh, yeah, nice. I nice couldn't song. imagine. This is the first time I'm listening to someone say he wants to smoke a nine mile long cigarette. That that's creative. That's kind of creative. That's how much he may have liked smoking. Uh, there was it sounded like a family event or something where his personal family members were sitting around. At the end, there was a female sound too joining him doing the yodeling part. Even the last song, there was a female voice that came in uh, and. Uh, from uh, from the past song that I know that his wife too sings along with him. So it could be his wife joining in with him. There was a small child, a toddler or baby who was giggling to what he had to say. Uh, very entertained by the way he says things or by the way he plays the piano, talks about uh, things. Uh, the baby was delighted. So was I. So was I. Now, all these are very personal songs. When people make it, they, they make it for themselves. Talking about the way they are, talking about their fantasies, talking about the wishes they have, talking about all those people who matter to them in a personal life, not in the professional arena or not in a career, uh, you know, career-wise. Uh, that's uh, the, those are the examples that he gave, which were very personal to him. I'm assuming those are the real names that he was taking, referring to. Of course, dad, sisters, brothers, mother are not some; they don't belong to someone else. Uh, it's a, it's a, you know hearty to listen to singers when they sing about these things. You get to know how much you and them are alike. Mm. Basic line. Yeah. 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 Uh, his father's words about death also were quite uh, yeah. enlightening and in interesting. When you're dead, you're a dead pecker's head. You're dead then. When you're dead, you're dead. And when you're alive, you better be alive. Act alive, be alive, stay alive. Because when you're dead, you're a dead pecker's head. <laughs> and he wants to prove that he's wrong. He wants yeah, to prove yeah. that his father is wrong. That's For a sure. fun part of it as well. You know, not that he's taking it uh, religiously and literally. He, he wants to prove that, oh. Dad, you're wrong. When you're dead, you're not actually dead. You rise to a higher state of consciousness. You can open a pub, you can smoke a cigarette that nine mile long. You can have fun with your cousins, your brother, meet all your aunts, you know, everyone along when, the way. When John Prine made this song, he probably didn't hear the song of uh, um, a song that was There is No Laughing in Heaven. He definitely didn't hear that song. When he's planning to go to heaven, there are so many things that he's not going to hear. That's the concept of that song. Uh, anyway, uh, these two are uh, very, very entertaining songs to listen to. Uh, we wish his family is doing well and, you know, uh, they are move, moving on well and being very healthy at the same time. Yeah. Thanks for watching.